Hey, this is Dan, Bob, and Dr. Agro from Gigaboots.com, and welcome to Podcast 7. 11. That's the subtitle. 11. You, you're you just trying to fuck up my sorting system, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's um, how that's I'm going. I'm very, very spiteful in the smallest <laughs> ways. What are we talking like, about? Like, if you go look at, at the descriptions, I know you don't often read the descriptions of it as a quick place, Dr. Agro. Mm-hmm. Um, if you go read them, half of them actually say that asshole, Dr. Agro. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, in any case, uh, so we got ourselves set up for this uh, podcast with a little news, you know, roundup. And then we're going to have a round table. Lots of rounds. Um, round table on the 3DS price cut. What people who have 3ds is like how they're affected whether or not nintendo screwed um so we'll get to that later let's go ahead and hit that uh round table uh first note of news here uh valve is unveiling dota 2 like overly confident douchebags um really i don't know how you can be overconfident when you're valve and you're releasing dota 2 i know uh so what they're doing is they're throwing a five-day tournament called the international in which Classy. they will unveil Dota 2. If you ask me, I don't know. This is why I gave it that intro. I think that's really damn showy for a company that's like, E3 is not the right venue. You know what is the right venue? A tournament! <laughs> like, I expect one night in Bangkok to blare Dude, tell throughout me, the entire Tell thing. me they're streaming this. Just, um, they should be. You have a bunch of teams show up to play a you know Dota style game. It's Dota yeah. 2. How, it's going to be broadcast in Chinese, German, Russian, and English. <laughs> Now, this is interesting because the reason that they're so amazing at those games is they, they hardcore know everything about them. They, mm-hmm. they learn Yeah, yeah so everything to see that metagame develop in real time as they get their hands on these new characters in this mm-hmm. new game, right. that's going to be fascinating. Now, our local, uh, local Dota fanatic, Steve, actually noted that uh, even though the third guy involved, Ice Frog, uh, was the lead developer of Dota. Right. You know, he was one of three people. Yeah, he was like, what, the third guy that got a hold of original Dota? He's the lead developer as loaded here. Or as yeah, on, on <clears throat> credited here. On Dota 2, yeah. Yeah, no, actually, uh, Dota. Oh. Yeah, he was the lead developer of the original mod. I think he was the last one with it, too. Hmm. Um, but something he's noted is, even though that guy's kind of showy and a douche... Um, the original Dota has more variety in character archetypes than uh, League of Legends. So there is a really good chance that Dota 2 could have more types of... Like, with League, you have yeah, pretty you much have, three uh, core types. Yeah, you have, like, tank, uh, support, DPS and, and uh, support. Assassin. strikers. Assassins. Yeah, there's, like, a, a well-defined archetype for just pushing lanes. Hmm. Like, that is open up as a legitimate character archetype in a Dota original, whereas League, you generally don't actually fuck with lanes, yeah leagues a lot se. more about uh, the pvp pvp yeah so he said even though he kind of finds him a douche and showy um there's a really good chance dota 2 could be something super special so yeah, i find it weird that we've that. seen no like actual pictures footage yeah, anything yeah that's, I guess that that's, that's what exactly doing. like i told him i'm like they're so goddamn showy about this soon valve's gonna be sending out five golden fucking tickets <laughs> <laughs> oh my god a one million dollar prize one fucking million dollar prize dude this is going to be a badass tournament a million goddamn dollars but yeah it's uh, august 17th through 21st at the GamesCon conference and cologne I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We have a large German following. Hey, guys, Cologne. Did I say it? It, it, it spelled looks like, like that. It spelled like that. <laughs> Cologne, Germany. So there you go. Um, 16 top-ranked online teams for the original Dota. That's going to be good. Play. Are going to be thrown into this thing for a million-dollar prize. That's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and move on unless you guys have something else to add about showiness or do so, no, I'm just wondering what like these kind of Dota players are going to spend a million dollars on. And I'm really hoping it's not, you know, skins in League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, maybe they'll do something like this for Half-Life 3, right? Right? That's why we haven't seen it? Yeah. No, yeah episode 3, it's good, good to uh, just show off like that. Totally. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Final Fantasy Tactics, the original version, has actually been ported to the iPhone now nice. after being say, after it's been said that it was going to be ported for a long time. Like, it's been a few years. Hmm. Um, and it's going to cost $16. Do you know how, as an app? As an app. You know how poorly that's probably going to sell? Yeah. Uh, at the same time, you can get the updated version of Tactics, you know, War of the Lions, 
on the PSP for nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, that, that pricing doesn't make any sense. It's I like mean, Square Enix missed the entire point of the reason why apps sell well is because they're really cheap. Yeah, they're impulse buys. I, I think that they could have gotten away with ten dollars. Sixteen oh, is yeah. really pushing it. They, yeah. Dude, dude, if they sold at five or seven, you know, reasonable pricing for a game this old, man, they could have done really well. Yeah, how much well. is freaking this game on the PlayStation Network Six. for? for yeah, for yeah. six for the PS one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, six. Wow, wow. six. That's, uh, yeah, that's a holy. Yeah, like, that's crazy. I don't and know you know, you thinking. know damn well they had to have come to the iPhone, the App Store marketplace, because they decided that those sales looked really good. <laughs> but those sales are based on one dollar fifty cent games. Oh, you Japanese know? gaming companies, please stop fucking up this month. It's just getting ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty fucking ridiculous. So I guess basically the thing to take away from this is uh, wait till they port it again on the Vita. Probably. Because, yeah. you know, touch controls and tactics would be totally awesome. I, I disagree, but oh, yeah. I would like to be wrong. I don't think the implementation of touch is going to be well done. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, like you'd it. have to drag your finger across all the panels you want to go over. I mean, well, that's not technically true. I mean, if you tell it where you want to go, then it'll go like the stupid way. <laughs> I'm gonna go the stupid way. No, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird that it's just this far after, and they're charging so much. It's like, God, guys, look, your IP only has value if you can monetize it. If you price it at what you perceive the value for and lose sales because of that, you aren't effectively monetizing it. There. <laughs> That's enough business douchebaggery out of me. I'm moving on. So earlier this year, True Crime Hong Kong was canceled by Activision. Uh, the weird thing is, Square Enix just picked it up, but they picked up the game, not the IP. It's going to get a name change, and it's made by United Fronts Games, the people who made Mod Nation Racers. Huh. Whoa. Yeah, this is totally so wait, strange. Dude. This is like they wholly picked up that, that what game. was left over. and Yeah, there were... what was made of that game is... Like, they tried the game, they fell in love with it immediately, apparently, at Square Enix, and, yeah, they're just... Uh, yeah, this was one of those surprise cancellations, in my opinion, because everything yeah. we saw from it looked like it was looking solid. Um, I actually remember, uh, we may have covered this in a podcast, because I remember talking about this before, Activision cited it as being not up to su snuff to compete in the open world's game market. Um... Yeah, but when you think those... about it, really, there isn't... There, I mean, there, there are... isn't that much of... I mean, there's Saints Row now is finally coming back after their three-year hiatus or something. Yes, it's and, something. And then Grand Theft Auto hasn't had one in a while. We had Red Dead, and L.A. Noir is hardly even open world. Yeah, that... I, mm. I think that uh, these games sell. Well, these open games really world, do... Like, Just Cause 2, that game wasn't even good, and people love it. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what they were thinking when they canceled it because of supposed not up to snuffness. You mm. know how bad it would have to be to not... Whatever, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm really glad that Square Enix is picking it up. I actually really like UFG, United Front Games, because, you know, Mod Nation was a really good game. Shit, yeah. I'm a little disappointed that they're not handling the port to the Vita, but, you know, San Diego Studios definitely can take care of that. Mm -hmm. But, um... Yeah, so I really, I'm glad this game has new life. Uh, they haven't announced what the new name is. Hmm. That's the weird part. So now it's kind of hard to keep track of. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like, okay. Just uh, look for something with Hong Kong. That yeah. might be it. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong Alopolis. <laughs> True lies, Hong Kong. Chinese Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Best game ever. <laughs> oh my god. It'll be like that James Bond where they try to make uh, <laughs> the. The guy playing James Bond oh, looked like God. he's Asian. Only they think <laughs> Schwarzenegger oh, looked like he's Asian. It's oh, just God, horribly God. racist. God. You know, okay, we're changing news articles. <laughs> I'm I'm ending that now. Um, so Lollipop Chainsaw, which I don't... I've have you heard the name? Uh, okay. This is amazing. Well, uh. in any case, let me say the news real quick. Warner Brothers has picked up Lollipop Chainsaw for Western release, which is pretty awesome because Warner Brothers has the money to back this. Um, Grasshopper Studios is making it, or Grasshopper is making it. Manufacturer. Grasshopper Manufacturer? Is that? Yeah. They yeah, put it. Manufacturer? Yep. Badass. Why? I just <laughs> call them Grasshopper. In any case, uh, yeah, but Grasshopper Manufacturer is making what appears to be No More Heroes again. <laughs> with a chainsaw-wielding cheerleader. All right. 
the story and the the uh, information we have so far is actually pretty funny. So it, it it could be really awesome. I'm hoping it just doesn't play the exact same as No More Heroes because that would be kind of. I, I would imagine that if this this is a game made for the PS3 and 360, you know, uh-huh. the Wii, I think that right. he knows that he needs to approach it a different way. Yeah, because because No like, More Heroes was so custom tailored to, 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 that, to the Wii. Yeah. To the Wii that when it was ported to the PS3, that just felt weird. Yeah, actually, you know, uh, the PS3 port. Uh, did it come out late, late last month? Or no, no, it's, it's coming out soon. I, yeah, you, I know it's coming out. The demo. It's sixty dollars. Yeah, it's sixty dollars. Sixty fucking dollars. That game's ancient. That game by is, modern day standards. That I mean. game looks old. That they didn't do a good job. They didn't. They didn't like, at all. It try to make it look nice. Yeah, so. I forget who handled the port job I don't again. Even I know. forget. It was but it's honestly, a random company. Honestly, guys, you probably and this sounds so kind of jingoistic or racist slightly. You should have outsourced porting your game to a Western company. I, I've never seen such a lackadaisical port. Not since uh, the PS2, Jen, really. I mean, like, it's running on the PS2. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. I didn't really expect much of an upgrade. It's more of like, it's been two years. It's, or it's been three it's years. It's been three or four. It's been a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like... Oh my god, guys! It should just be discounted. I, mean, I don't know why they think they can release that 60. I I bet it feels fine on the move controller, but... Oh yeah. Typical I controller, that, that does not work well. That system is just not designed around it. I'm sure the right analog stick will do really well <laughs> to simulate the movements of a motion controller. Or at least a motion controller as accurate as the Wii's. <laughs> Any other comments, guys? Uh, okay. Uh, did uh, did you mention the uh, high school name here? It's like Saint Romero. Yeah, yeah. The name <laughs> of the high school, Saint Romero. Yeah, I'm seeing that uh, <laughs> James Gunn is part of this project. Yep, from Slither and Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, yeah. Is that freaking awesome? Nice. Ah, oh, Suda Fifty One. Ah, sexy motherfucker. In any case. Okay, so moving on. This is fucking strange, and this is very important as a milestone, I think, for the industry. Uh, Samsung is going to manufacture the PlayStation Vita's processor. Um, Sony has apparently just now gotten to the point where they are no longer completely manhandling their own hardware. They're Honestly, Samsung, at that size, a mobile chip, they are the best. Mm-hmm. That is what fucking Apple goes to. That is what... All the best people who need the highest quality, you know, chips in good well, quantities. Good yeah, so you know, they go with Samsung. They got good supply, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They won't be as limited, or and it won't be as expensive because Samsung knows what they're doing. Now, keep in mind that's um that'll be Samsung making the chip design to some extent and getting it probably made at global foundries or God knows where. Uh, the f- actual fab will be. But the important part here is it's no longer Sony with the Sony Fab. So the the day of that is gone. And, you know, that that isn't necessarily, like, if you sort of follow this, you might be like, but wait, didn't Sony sell off their Fab a long time ago and that was the sign they were getting out of this? Not so. They actually bought it back from the company they sold it to for much lower than what they sold it to them for. <laughs> <laughs> Completely fucked. <laughs> Nice. That was this year. So I was like, oh, okay, they're getting back into it. But then they announced this. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't even know what to... Maybe okay. they're going to just keep doing it for consoles only. I Maybe. don't know. Yeah, that could be it. Because um, Samsung is really good at the 45 nanometer fab process on a mobile chip. And, you know, for those who didn't know, this uh, this is an ARMS-based processor. I forget the uh, name currently. It's not quite shoved into the back of my head yet because processors now have ridiculous serial codes <laughs> we are no longer in the day of like model short number we're now in the sgx 543 plus <laughs> 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 no i think that's it Flash wow. action why <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much um, oh, so cosmic gonna... explosion i'm not sure what that part really means <laughs> playstation vita <laughs> yeah the vita is such a ridiculous awesome value we'll get into that some time hopefully yeah. late into the 3ds discussion so it's not at the beginning or halfway um but in any case yeah so that's important that's important stuff uh moving on to a topic that is much too large for me to cover here would be much too large for me to cover here even if i had gone to the event 
Um, Blizzard has invited the press to their own place down in Orange County to try out Diablo 3. And the NDA ended uh, Monday. Today, by the time we're... Okay, yesterday, now that it's past midnight. But yeah, Monday. So... There's a shitload of information hmm. here. Diablo 3 has so many small changes and it's ridiculously intricate and it all feels good from what they're saying. Um, so you pretty much just got to go to every website and read all three pages from all of them to sort of get all the <laughs> details. Because I read Eurogamers and I didn't know something that was pretty damn important in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But in any case, let me go ahead and do a quick rundown from what I wrote. Um, the rune system from the old games is still here. It's completely in full force. Um, this is relevant in that they simplified some other systems. But in any case, the rune system is apparently so powerful now, like, it can do so much to your character now, that you can turn a mage into a relative beefcake. Yes. That's, like, instead of being a glass cannon, he'll just be like... Mage tank. Mage <laughs> tank. Now, that's interesting, because in the old ones, runes really didn't come into play until a little bit later in game. Like, yeah. you could not possibly use those in the first told act. Yeah, you and if you did, them. it wasn't, like, something where, yeah, it wasn't insanely... Yeah, it was like, oh, you have, like, .175 more attack value. You're so Whoa. awesome. You're the coolest. <laughs> You're cool, man. But, yeah, I mean, it did stuff, but it never was, like, massively... Oh, you're a barbarian who also convinces people to join his side very, with his charisma. like <laughs> Or his packs. <laughs> with his packs. <laughs> with his penis. <laughs> hey, buddy. Did you say that? No. Down here. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, hey, Serve me. <laughs> now, something very important I'll hit up. Uh, Diablo 3 is completely online. You cannot play it at all offline. What? The reason why uh. is everything is stored in the cloud, and there's even more justification down the road, but everything about your character, like you disconnect, your system dies, whatever, shuts down randomly, it saved everything. So you're always good on that front. That's cool, but a better reason for this is there is a legitimate marketplace in this. Oh yeah, you can I heard sell about this. This th is crazy. You can sell in between players, you can, uh, Blizzard doesn't really sell stuff, you can either sell it just for gold or for real fucking money. They're going to develop an actual oh, economy shit. out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, civilization's over. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, Blizzard, <laughs> listen to me. This is very important. There's a reason we hold real jobs. <laughs> Seriously. Like, th th this, isn't, this is a moral responsibility you have to this fucking country, okay? <laughs> if you do this, all these people... These motherfuckers who get, like, 80 stacks of cloth an hour. His name's Steve. <laughs> Steve will die. Because he won't have any food. Because if he can make... Yeah. Our economy will collapse, alright? I don't think it's just us. This is, like, the world. China is Yeah, screwed. what will happen to China? Oh, In my Korea, God. They're just Oh, dead. my God. China will have all of our money. Now, see, the interesting thing here is I don't think it's going to be a worldwide server. They haven't said whether or not it could be, you know, with World of Warcraft, you have your individually cut up thing. China doesn't care. This is true. <laughs> China, China does not care. They'll get in. They'll have, like, entire farms of inmates getting actual money from us now. Instead of just, like, a little money for gold, it's real money time. Yeah. So this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous as hell. It in which really case, is. Blizzard is doing this on purpose. In which case, uh, bravo, uh, you brilliant, maniacal motherfuckers, you have finally brought about the end of sovereign nations. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Um, on another note, uh, yeah, everything's stored in the cloud. The beta that is coming out soon, that other people will get to try, it consists of one chapter of the game. Um, they say it's about an hour long, a little bit longer if you, or a little bit, it's an hour long if you rush, longer if you don't. Um, it's great because uh, one of the guys was like, I ran through the beta as two different characters and I still didn't get like, enough information. It was still horribly, physically painful to pull me away from the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe it. This yeah. is Diablo. Ugh. Now, an interesting side note is during this whole press thing, they admitted that the old team who made Diablo did not like doing story at all. They weren't story people. They just, they put in stories so that way they could somehow justify what they wanted to do with the you game. You know, it was obvious that that was the case, and yeah. I loved it. 
Yeah, I, I totally like. I just wanted to know that I need to go that way and go kill Diablo. What's See, that, I, Deckard? No, shut up, Deckard. Deckard, Deckard, Deckard. I shut the fuck up. Where am I going? <laughs> I know Haraja Cube is great. No, <laughs> yeah, I want to go this. kill these angels. I honestly used to think that was on purpose. Like, <laughs> yeah. like from the bits and uh, snatch of the story I'd heard, I'm like, this this sounds like it's generic on purpose to like be throwback '80s metal. But then, <laughs> then I decided I really need to understand the plot of this game if I'm gonna play three. So I went and I read synopses from Blizzard of the plot of these games holy shit <laughs> yeah yeah so um what they said they're doing with this one they have a few people in charge of the universe and the storyline and stuff they're doing their best to like they're actually cutting down word count from the prior titles but the way the story is told is much more efficient and actually world building and yeah. decent you, you can see blizzard getting better at that as they kept adding expansions to warcraft yeah, instead of just mouth diarrhea. <laughs> like, you did something, and then you go back to Decker, and he's like, Oh, let me explain what you just did over ten grueling minutes. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's the way it used to be in Warcraft. That's what the Bioware syndrome is. And then, yeah. like, read the book. But, um, and what I'm really looking forward to from that old, old, old Diablo 3 video is it looks like they're... It's a great game for set pieces and events, and Blizzard has gotten yeah. a lot better at that. So yeah. this is going to be some kick-ass shit going yeah. on. Um, I'm going to officially announce this now. When that game comes out, I'm sorry, every Gigaboots fan, I am lost to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, even the pace we are looking at, working at now will look like Speedy Gonzalez compared to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oh man, they noticed some other things. Um, instead of having skill points, skill points are gone. Um, they've redone bum, it. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. They've redone it so that way there are passive abilities, active abilities, and there are like six slots. I didn't get a good enough description of how hmm. exactly this works from Eurogamer, so uh, you two and you at home should definitely go out there and read these articles because it is there's so much information. Fascinating. That's weird. Like, yeah, the whole thing. You, is I, can, I guess that maybe you can upgrade your abilities in different ways or something. Cause... The way they're saying it is, uh, they didn't want people to have twenty small decisions, and they thought like three huge ones was way more impactful. Yeah, they, they have gone for that. Like once again, you can see their design like choices evolving in World of Warcraft, where they went from like eighty fucking talents per tree, and you'd have to micromanage and just look up the best one. They shrunk them down so you have a few bigger decisions to make on how you want your character to play. Mm -hmm. This seems, as an extension of that, to be fascinating if you have six slots in which to put active and passive abilities. Because mm -hmm. if that's how that's working, then you have to choose between uh, a number of different spells for utility or a number of passive things to use your two spells really well. Now, I'd like to note, I was a little confused by the wording on the article I read. So it could either be broken up three and three or they just got to play with three and three. Hmm. Um... I'm kind of with Bob here, and then I'm concerned. But at the same time, like, my major concern comes from Blizzard said they thought it was more engaging to do uh, and more impactful to do three large decisions instead of 20 small ones, which uh, Blizzard... If that was fucking true, League of Legends would not have 300 small decisions for me to make <laughs> and would not be the most popular game since living. <laughs> I think that's just patently false, that that thought that people don't want to make a ton of small decisions. I like, don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with him on this one because um, like when you have, like I was talking about the old talent trees and you have, a, you know, a bazillion points to put in yeah. all these different things. Every little thing you do doesn't have much of an effect. Like a few of them, the active talents, right, you, you can see the effect. But those things are like the talent trees and stuff. Those are just stat things. Mm -hmm. These are full on spells. Yeah, the and spells in Diablo decide, used not... to have uh, 15, 18 different spells and then you would, you would, uh, get certain spells at a certain point to progress the tree to get to other things and then what you try to do is to not piss off your uh, spell points in crappy spells early on mm -hmm. um, so it was impactful it, it really was it wasn't like uh, oh I put no like every time I've played Diablo 2 when you put a skill point or you put that skill point in that spell mm -hmm. yeah that was you impactful. better be sure you want to because be a it's werewolf. like boom motherfucker <laughs> i have three skeletons and then by the time you reach diablo you're like boom motherfucker i got 20 skeletons and he's like Roar! and oh one fire wave goes Is out a point you, where you can summon 20 skeletons 
Yeah. Fuck yes. It's, it's I don't care if I lose. That's a badass way to die. It is. Go, my dark clackety army. <laughs> like, back when Diablo 2 came out, not only were you badass, you were making people's computers lag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one thing, like, you could do crazy stuff in Diablo. It mm-hmm. th- does just seem like you shouldn't be able to do that. That doesn't make sense. Why are why you shooting are you 200 teeth? <laughs> why, why do you have such an insanely powerful blood golem? You'll just get hit and you'll die. <laughs> I remember hearing about uh, Bill building barbarians with what decks so they're just hitting a hundred times a second for two damage <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually uh from what uh steve was saying uh he he watched some videos of diablo 3 which there are some videos out there too now um and the monk just hits insanely fast for small amounts of damage so he's like <laughs> he's like yeah i know you're gonna make a barbarian come up and be like watch me hit it once <laughs> and he'll die <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Diablo 3, totally excited. Hopefully it'll come out really soon. (laughs) Maybe we'll get in the beta this year. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe that'll happen. Honestly, I don't want it to come out this year, because most of what's left this year is approaching or is the holiday season, and I got good prime gigabootsing to do. (laughs) And if I get this game, that won't be doomed. Dune. 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 (laughs) That won't be doomed. The duning of this will not be accomplished. (laughs) Accomplished. Um, but yeah, okay, so, uh, that's pretty much the news roundup, because I decided any more would be bad. Yeah. Hmm. It would just be too much. Let's just keep going. Let's make it huge and bloated. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, I've changed my mind. <laughs> it's done. It always works. <laughs> uh, next up, we're gonna do the 3DS price cut roundtable discussing, uh, how it's affected users and etc. Stay tuned. Hey, and welcome back. Okay, so we are doing this 3DS price cut roundtable now. Go. Um, Talk. Quick, Bob. Complain that we don't have a round table. I, we did that joke like five times now. Is that right? Okay, look, you know, maybe if you paid attention to the c- comments, you would see that they missed that joke. <laughs> seriously. No, it's seriously. consistency. Multiple users... Have said that they okay. missed the round table. So Guys, okay, and round table go. This table isn't round. <laughs> Consistency is the key to good <laughs> podcasting. Bravo, good sir. Bravo. I need to need to get a better line for that. I need to like, or you need that. to get us a better table. This table line. <laughs> 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 this table belongs in a museum. <laughs> this museum belongs, belongs in, in a, a table. table. Yes, this table looks good here. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula's like, where the fuck are my tables? <laughs> I'm trying to read Emily Dickinson, I can't fucking sit down. <laughs> we also took the chairs, apparently. <laughs> yeah, in our universe for Castlevania, Dracula sounds like the monarch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, it's Richter fucking Belmont. What do you want? I came to this castle to play a card game. <laughs> really, Richter? That? God damn it. He has no Brock, though. I mean, he has all rocks, but that guy's a douche. <laughs> yeah, We're so really off topic. Put that aside for now. <laughs> so is. I hear the 3DS is cheaper now. <laughs> yes. Not uh, yet. But the, soon. The, very, very soon. Uh, Nintendo has decided five months into the life of the Nintendo 3DS that the price is going to be dropped. And it was dumb and gay. <laughs> it was dumb and gay and a mistake. And the price is going to be dropped in the U.S. by 32% and in, in Japan by 40 yeah, uh, so what that adds up to is seventy dollars. I hear that eighty percent is in fact higher than thirty-two. It is, in fact, unless it's a price cut, in which means it's lower than thirty-two. Oh, paradox! <laughs> Look out. In any case, so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, the nature of this. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that this is really early on. It's a lot. It's a pretty big price cut. Yeah, $80 is a lot of money to just chop off of that. That puts it at the price of a DS XL. Yeah. And to say that this is the same quality product as a DS XL is not something you want to do. See, this sort of price, uh, lack of price parity really comes up from the fact that Nintendo overcharged for the last generation, and they can't overcharge by the same margin for this generation. It just... 
doesn't work well to, to I wonder, space itself. Like, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't heard about a price cut for the DSIs and DSi XLs and all that. Yeah, the, I think what Nintendo is going to find is having a lot of products of the same price look and, and pr- look and price and yeah. name. Yeah, like so close in so many regards, people are gonna know. That's gonna be the same problem they find into with the Wii U, I think. Like yeah. that's that's going to be really hard to describe. Oh, I have the Wii. Well, do you have the Wii U? The what? The the what? <laughs> the Wii Two. Whatever. The Super Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck didn't they go with the name Revolution? But in yeah, any case, they're just terrible at naming things recently. This is just a nightmare. Yeah. Um. Okay, another thing I want to go into real quick is uh, the history of this sort of thing. IGN has a pretty interesting picture up on their website where they noted the price drops. And uh, what it says here is two months in, the Virtual Boy dropped 11% from $180 to $160. Uh, Six months in, the N64 dropped 25% from $199 to $149. Six months in, the GameCube dropped 25% from 199 to 149 And, of course, the 3DS, five months in, it dropped 32% from 251 to $70. Um, so here's the interesting part about that. If you look at all these dates, because it has when it happened, too, if you look at it, the, aside from the Virtual Boy, all of these price cuts happened relatively in the uh, summer. Like, slightly before summer, during summer, or right right after summer. None of them happened during the holiday season except for the Virtual Boy, which we all know was a horrible, horrible train wreck of a uh, yes. piece of hardware. Uh-huh. It's weird looking back on this and seeing how uh, the consoles... Well, yeah, it's uniform, too, but the consoles all released at lower price points than the 3DS. Yeah, That's yeah that actually is what I was going to be bringing up next, is that the 3DS started at 250 and, you know, even adjusting for inflation, that's a portable. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like if Sony launched the PS3 or the PS2 at 200 and then the Vita's coming out at 250 it would be like, whoa, hey, what? That's... <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay? <laughs> That'd be weird. Well, it's... Don't make it gay. <laughs> 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 this could work out for the both of us. Um, but... Yeah, so the N64's price dropped in March, well after the holiday season. The GameCube's price dropped in May, well after the holiday season. The 3DS's price dropped in August, right before the holiday season. Yeah, definitely leading into it like that. Yeah, that's pretty strange. Um, well, not really. Well, when, when, well, when you view it like that, it's strange. Yeah, when you just look at those, but knowing that but it didn't when do you, well. When you change the way you analyze it, all of these price cuts, except for the Virtual Boy, which was a fucking train wreck, are because of competition. The GameCube dropped to 149 because the PS2 dropped its price to 200 and the GameCube could not be the same price as the PS2. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be the cheaper console. Two years in, the PS2 could drop its price a hundred bucks and be like, "Boom, motherfucker, eat it." Yeah. So the GameCube, Nintendo had to drop the price. Um, same goes for the N64. The N64 came out at two hundred dollars, and I believe in '97 the PS1 was two hundred dollars. So to appear cheaper, boom, price drop. Right. They had to now keep pace. So 3DS, this is completely logical. It's the same company, Nintendo. Lowered the price because the Vita was announced at 250 which I don't think they were expecting. Which, to me, is insane. But, you know, not everyone is as good as reading Sony PR as me, apparently. <laughs> I just think if you're a direct competitor in the market, you'd be better at reading uh, your competitors. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I... not even fighting with Sony for the same apples here. And I'm like, they're going to price it at 250 guys. I mean, they're saying they're going to take a hit. Yeah, they, the Vita isn't running like three the, cell processors. That wasn't <laughs> going to be like their their PS3 mistake. They they weren't yeah. going to do that again. I mean, they've said multiple times that uh, they sat there and looked at what they could put in a console, not only technologically but to match a certain price. They did that from the design point. So mm. they were like, "We're gonna do it. What's the absolute most cutting edge, bleeding?" breeding price price wise we can do for 250 and the vita's what came out nintendo said so can we do 3d yeah but oh okay what do you think that's worth 
250. Okay. What did it go <laughs> puts, with it? Puts it on the market. We were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just... I mean, here's the thing. I sound like I'm kind of anti-Nintendo here, but really, I'm anti... Um, I'm very much for value proposition. I'm very much for a console that has free online play. Mm-hmm. I'm very much for a platform where I buy a game, a PS1 Classic, for example, or a Mini, and it works on both. I'm ve- like, yeah, and that's, that, that pissed that me off about f- the Wii. One thing that's really upsetting, freaking, if you buy a PSP game, you know that that, or a digital one, you know that's yeah. going to work on both your PSP and your PSV. Both yeah. at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It's not like the freaking 3DS, which n- deletes it wholly from yeah. your DSi to have, move it over. Have you heard about the DSi where and how that works? No. Okay, so when you finally do the extremely difficult, from what I understand, uh, process of porting it from the DSi to the Heavily 3D. time-consuming yeah. and requiring internet connection. Mm. The 3DS. Doing that sort of thing to get your game over. Um, it's gone off your DSi. But more important, and you can't put it back either. You, like I, I poured one over the a feature that didn't work on my 3ds. Yeah, I can't get it back on my. That's DS. the more uh-huh. important part. He bought that uh, game that's obviously Game Loft's rip off of Castlevania. What's that thing called? I don't even know. It's okay, like, it's Dungeon, Dungeon Castle, slow, whatever. Castlevania, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Curse of the Blackness. Um, <laughs> the shitty controls. But yeah, um, when he tries to use this thing, that's in every level. It's fucking there, and it's important. Uh, it crashes. Hmm. It completely freezes. So and that, I figured and that there get... wouldn't be any glitches in it because you know they were marketing it on the storefront for the 3DS. Yeah, that's the most stunning part. They're wow. they're marketing this game whose major feature or uh, omnipresent feature freezes the damn console as the premier game you should be buying for your 3DS. You know, with all this shit piling up. <laughs> It, it, it's something I said recently that I never I never thought I'd say in my lifetime. Nintendo's in trouble. Yeah, I, I really see that as the point. Like They just don't like, know how reaching. to do this online thing at all, and that's screwing them. Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo has a history of being very proprietary and doing it their way in this sort of Not new... Not really forward-thinking as yeah, a company. And that's that, and they could do that because they were fucking Nintendo, but that's starting to go away. Yeah, I mean... Here's the thing, uh, rolling back just slightly so we can go into that other topic more fully. I'm not anti-Nintendo. I actually really like Nintendo from a game design standpoint, more than Microsoft, definitely. Um, I really just, I'm a value proposition guy. I didn't buy a Wii because it was way overpriced. I'm getting to the point where I wish that they would go the way of Sega and make games for other consoles because they can't do it themselves. It's Honestly, just sad. I'm fucking with you there. I am totally on that, lol. I'm <laughs> fucking with you. I'm, I'm gonna just fuck fucking that. with you, man. I'm, gonna, I'm fucking with you there. Nintendo's been dead for five years. High five, aggro. Oh, we got ya! It cost us $40,000 to run all those TV ads to fuck with you, man. Oh my but we god. Did. We're bankrupt. Dude, it's Please a Please donate. <laughs> Our capture card's dead, and we spent a lot of money to pull a prank. We are the worst website. <laughs> We're in debt so hard. And not like bank in debt, like mean Mafia. Mexicans in <laughs> but uh yeah so i mean i didn't buy a wii because of value proposition i am not buying a 3ds because i still think even at 170 it's not that good of a deal there's not really much in digital distribution for games like it's pretty yeah, non-existent they, they don't have games that are made for the 3ds and online that's the part that makes that 3ds store just dumb yeah like even fucking ps3 had games on it on the store day one and and they Heck, were fun. They weren't ready. Yeah, well, they were fun. <laughs> like, yeah. they were yeah, enjoyable those, those games. Those games were fun. I'm just saying, Sony wasn't ready at that point. They were <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, we gotta put this together. Here's, like, a Dude, website we gotta... you can go to. <laughs> this is a web page. <laughs> we make it work. Just click things. <laughs> it's a controller. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Move that mouse around. <laughs> I'm, I'm... <laughs> but, yeah, I just... I'm totally with you here, Bob, just because Nintendo doesn't offer really good value proposition. They don't. Their consoles don't have multiple uses, 
they don't have forward or backward compatibility. Like, like they, they were slowly lot, chop out all the backward compatibility. If they were a lot cheaper, I think that they would work better because they don't do these other things. They're not I trying know. to be these other things. They're just being a game system, which I'm okay with. But yeah, I'm like, okay with that too. But here's the problem: if you're if you're gonna like. The uh, 3DS is so weird because it's trying to be all this stuff, and it's not. It's just bad at everything else. Yeah, it's just got a random assortment of features which don't even work between it, each other. Like, it has motion controls and a 3D screen, but if you tilt it, you can't see the 3D. Not only that, the 3D's implementation... Uh, two two problems with 3D. One, the 3D implementation has that image problem I brought up in the last episode of The Rant is Go, which really, really fucking bugs me. Like... I, God damn, does that bug me. Double vision on a racing game is bad. In any case, two, more importantly, 3D is twice as taxing, if not more so, to a game's graphics hardware. When your hardware isn't impressive to begin with, you have a fucking hard time having a decent-looking game to differentiate yourself from the last generation, which your price is now the same as. Mm-hmm. Ugh, that isn't a value proposition. You're do- All you're doing is gaming. How? Anybody else want to take over? All I've got is syllables. Yeah, all I've got are uh, Emperor's new clothes metaphors, so... Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, that was it. What? Really, you I just, was just gonna... You just say... Just that's say I, I was gonna make, like, a snide reference to the metaphor, to, like, no, I've totally got this metaphor, but I wanted to be, like, meta about it. Oh. Yeah. So you didn't come with a metaphor, you just teased us. I, I, I came with, like, a box of metaphor that smelled somewhat of metaphor, and I was going to, like, put it on the shelf. It was an inferred metaphor. Okay, it was a metaphor we could look at, but not not touch. Exactly, like like the metaphor museum. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so yeah, now that we're done with a uh, random assortment of ta- topics, more importantly, let's go into uh, why this happened. I mean, it's the middle of August, they cut the price. Units aren't moving. The 3DS is not selling compared to what Nintendo and their third parties were expecting, which is which is mind-blowing to me because, I don't know, maybe this is the Carmack in me talking, but if I had my hands on that hardware, I would have just been like, this really is impressive. Yeah, that's good-ish 3D, but that's... Uh. <sighs> yeah, another thing is they aren't getting, like, like demo units at stores that actually show the 3D well at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, putting the standard for GameStops is Street Fighter in 3D. Uh-huh. Yeah, a totally 2D game. Yeah, a totally That's t- insane. Yeah, mm-hmm. just that, and it's not a good port of Street Fighter. It like, isn't. It's it's passable as launch games barely. Like, to be honest, the launch title for the PS2 they had, that 3D, or Street Fighter EX 2 or 3. I remember that. That was a much better, like, because that was its own game. That was pretty. And that wasn't, like, some watered-down Street Fighter. Like, it was, like... It was a bad game, but it was interesting. I enjoyed it. It was amazing at the time. Yeah, mm. it, it was something you could look back on and be like, that was cool, right? Like, when you <laughs> turn let's on... Let's put it in. <laughs> like, you gotta look at it as, uh, they're not moving any because it's not visually impressive. They aren't doing enough to market it. They aren't doing... And another, like, the reason why they're having this hard problem marketing it and pushing it and selling people on the hardware is because even Nintendo is in their roundabout way starting to acknowledge in press releases and stuff or in interviews and keynotes and stuff, they don't have much value there. They're admitting that 3D is something that you would probably just turn on for a cutscene. Miyamoto has admitted this, Mm -hmm. that you would not probably play Ocarina of Time in 3D, but, ooh, it's cutscene time, turn it on! Yeah, which is weird, because it's this whole thing seems sort of double-minded and mishandled. Mm -hmm. Because when you, like... And when they're showing it off at E3, it seems like a lot of this company was thrown behind this 3DS thing, and then it just fucked off when it hit the market. Yeah, All I the mean, support evaporated. They, I mean, what we're looking at is I, what three games out of Nintendo by the end of the year? Wait, wait, Luigi's Mansion Two. I still yeah. forget that they that some company came to them and said we would like to make Luigi's Mansion Two, and they're like, oh, a fuck up. Here, we've got this <laughs> terrible idea for a portable. Um, in any case. But yeah, four games. I I don't even know why the 3DS was already released. That's yeah. that's a weird thing. Like They could have released it at the 170 price point. They could have done it later and had games. 
Uh huh. Because mm-hmm. we still don't have a good number of games at all. Yeah. Zelda is how many? Zelda would definitely be that thing where you could buy at a launch and be like, "Oh yeah, it's Zelda. It's yeah. 3D, and yeah. I want this." In Star Fox and stuff like that. Yeah. That those very much should have been there at launch. And right. to be perfectly brutally honest, there aren't that many 3DS games out already, right? No, they, even that, if it was that the last Resident Evil game was awful. Yeah, and... God, even if it was the last minute, like uh, Nintendo just going, "Okay, we're not ready." Hey, everyone, it's not coming out for a while. Even if it was a last minute thing like that, you wouldn't have pissed off that many partners, and a lot of them honestly would have been glad. Mm. Yeah, so I third mean, party support would be a lot rushed. better. Yeah, like. I think that the best game that they have right now is Dead or Alive, and even that could have had more features. Mm-hmm. Could it be better? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's just kind of the support for the 3DS isn't there, and honestly, you can't really blame third parties for that. It's not the the hardware itself does a bad job of selling itself. So why should the company that's making software for it? How are they going to overcome that? It, it, the, something's yeah, just for some reason Nintendo acted like they were going to go full force third party at launch. That, mm-hmm. That's what Reggie kept saying. Yeah. yeah, that didn't work out at all because just they aren't they're Nintendo. They don't have great third party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't happen. Like Nintendo isn't a business company like Sony is. Sony is terrifyingly good with third party mm-hmm. because they are a normal business. They know how to do this. Yeah, <laughs> they have probably a huge wing of their company just dedicated to negotiations Mm -hmm. yeah nintendo fucking doesn't (laughs) they make their games and they're like from what i've been (laughs) hearing from developers they don't even have halfway decent development tools for even the wii think about that real quick is the goddamn wii that shit should be easier to program for than a fucking windows pc at this (laughs) point because of how fucking low-end it is yeah it should be like okay run that shit and it's like okay and it goes out there like a timid shy boy but it fucking does it and you're like good now get back in the closet <laughs> before i beat you more N- nintendo games made by abused children is that is that what i'm taking away from yes this? yes <laughs> nintendo's hardware is like black eyed eight-year-olds yeah that's the black eyed eight-year-old gotcha not black guy eight-year-old <laughs> black guy <eight-year-old. laughs> what does that mean no 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 it's, you see it's like that movie big only in reverse so before this gets any more <laughs> racist, I don't think this can be racist. You're it, so befuddling. I, I can make this racist. Don't. Okay. <laughs> I will collapse that way for me. So, so this whole thing is really it. It's emotionally distressing. Yeah. Because you remember that year at E3 when they're like, "Here's the 3DS. And it they will just par- fucking suck your dick." Yeah, they fucking paraded out, and it was last year. It was only a year ago, and everyone was so fucking ecstatic about the thing. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And then later in the year, we get some guy, some douche yeah. over at fucking Mortal Kombat developer studio is like, "Yeah, we got a PSP too. It's really pretty. <laughs> Jesus, we could run our normal games on it." And everyone's like. Psh- we don't want to run our normal games. We want games in 3D. Five months later, fuck my eyes. Yeah, and it, like yeah. you know, we, we sat there and we stared at the cocoon and it quivered, and it quivered with new life, and it it, it gently split open, and the the there was it's a ter- still a caterpillar, and it just sort of <laughs> wriggled out and fell to the ground, and we didn't we didn't like help it up. We just we were too stunned and disappointed. We just sort of stared at it, poked it with our toe. That butterfly looks weird, we said, <laughs> poking it repeatedly. And another thing, like, Kid Icarus is one of the first ones we saw, and we still, like, that's still, that's still another yeah. one that's off in holiday. I have yeah. to wonder if all, any of these games are actually just ready to go, and they were like, yeah, let's just push in the holiday, even though we should have something. No, that cannot be the case. Especially Icarus. I know for a yeah, fact Kid My Icarus Hero Sakurai is like, the last one. I would think that. Sakurai is like, we're still working on Kid Icarus. Guys, thanks for announcing Smash Bros, the one that doesn't exist and I'm not working on yet. That was so fun. I'm angry about that. I'm yeah, still... Yeah, that was, that was horrible. That, like, and the fact they already announced a feature for it where it was like, it will work across the 3DS and uh, the Wii U. Not if the 3DS bombs before the Wii U even comes out. Yeah, because like, you can use the Wii U controller and then a bunch of 3DSs. Please buy the 3DS. <laughs> If I do this for a freaking GameCube or your darn Zelda, yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna do it for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just like, oh, 
but yeah, you know, uh, you're right. It is emotionally distressing. It's an $80 price cut. That's the largest price cut on this list. This is the largest price cut, like, I think has happened for the most part in this industry, aside from, like, the $100 price cut on the PS2. And did the 360 ever get a $100 price cut? I don't think so. I think because of all the model shuffling and all the crap versions of the Xbox 3 shitty they made, it never really got a $100. So this is, like, the largest price cut since the (laughs) PS2's uh, $80 or $100 price cut. It's I just, didn't even know it had that huge a price cut. But, yeah, but it was that, great because uh, Laura Hernandez, my friend, bought it within a week before that. Oh, shit. She goes back to Kmart. She's like, I want my $100 now. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just refund that and that should work, ma'am, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um... So, yeah, um, a lot of people, or at least a couple people, have the staunch opinion this has nothing to do with the Vita. And if you look at all these price cuts, they all have to do with Sony hardware. Now, another thing we haven't gone into yet, mm-hmm. like, I don't know if you're done with that, but yeah. the whole ambassador program. Okay, yeah. let's wait a little bit longer okay. to go on that. Okay. This... These are all reactive price cuts. These are all price cuts that are happening because of the market. Right. The GameCube, the N64, the 3DS. Yeah. Like, I mean, those are so blatantly. Those other two are so blatantly that. Mm-hmm. And then this price cut comes out a month or two, technically two, after E3, where yeah. it's announced that the Vita, which has way better capabilities as a platform, mm-hmm. visually, as graphics-driven, yeah. and as an experience, really, with the two analog sticks and a number of other features and the huge... And, and then yeah. if that freaking has a working store that's going to have real games. Exactly, on day one. Exactly. So I remember hearing when they're like, oh yeah, the price is $250. I'm like, oh shit, not getting a 3DS anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Nintendo cuts the price. I mean, that's just pretty one-to-one there, if you ask me. What if, what do you guys... I mean, that uh, that's that's freaking obvious. There's I no, mean, there's... Yeah, I mean, like... You'd be crazy to say well, that this wasn't the case. There's the age-old wisdom that correlation is not causation. But pro tip, uh, this is causation. <laughs> yeah, it really fucking is. There's, I mean, all of these I, price cuts, except for the Virtual Boy, are very <laughs> much... They cut their price. Uh, we're cutting it too. Except for in this case, because of the PS3, I guess everyone was so retarded that they're like, Sony overcharges for hardware, even though they lost $100 on every PS3 sold at launch. I mean, not seeing this coming was pretty ignorant if that was what Nintendo was doing. Either that or they thought 3D was going to I get. I mean, mean, some major thing. But either way, I, you well, can't... This is just... This is two sides. It's both... It's both, both. The, they aren't selling period right now they're yeah. just in dead water mm-hmm. yeah you pretty much and threw it into like in it's frozen Vita. in carbon <laughs> <laughs> fuck gotta have like Han Solo next to it there next time no that was Carbon Knight the, the 3DS is frozen in carbon yeah Darn it. yeah it's weird what how did they do that <laughs> it's really hard it's like coal except it's not except for it's icy it's ice cold. They actually have an extra... It's ice cold. They actually, yes, they actually have a flavor of extra gum that tastes just like this, and it's terrible. Yeah, it tastes like regret and shame. <laughs> and gimmick. Uh, but yeah, the 3DS as a platform. Like, uh, one last note before we go on to that, the Ambassador Program. A few days ago, I just looked at it and I thought about it. It has no value to me. It doesn't have an online store. For me to get cheap games, which I love that about my PS3. And I love that about the 360 with the indie games, too. Mm -hmm. I love the ability to go and spend $5 or $10 and spend, like, 8 hours, 6 hours playing that. Because I've put tons of hours into Stardust and other such games. And Stardust was already covered to the Vita, so I was already sold. But (laughs) in any case... Yeah, so I if I got a 3DS, I would. Just, you already have a DSi as well, so yeah, exactly. What, so I can't get already, any new. Yeah, that's so like I get a 3DS. None of the stuff is none of the stuff on there is designed for even, 3D or is even new. Yeah, it's all Korean of Time and Star Fox until this holiday season, where I can get the Mario game that looks like it's still 2D, mostly gameplay, but in three dimensions. Mario Kart, which has underwater and hang gliding, which honestly that can really fuck it up. In my opinion, it's not going to be like white knuckle, oh, but in Kid Icarus actually looks good. I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock Kid Icarus. I'm going to say, you know, those on the ground segments could definitely use the second analog stick. Yeah, that's We dealt with that on the PSP enough for me to know. 
that that is the danger zone. <laughs> yeah. So it, it already doesn't have a software. It doesn't have an online store for for more software. It doesn't have any number of things. And then most importantly, the level of gameplay it is able to present is such that it is par with a six-year-old portable called the PSP. Graphically, it does not surpass the PSP enough, especially processing-wise, to really offer some insane new level of gameplay that was unprecedented on portables to date. I, You know the other thing? They freaking... The video store, well, not store really, the video channel they just released is just a spit in the face. Yeah. I don't know who has actually tried this. Right. So it's, share it's with a, us. It's a channel you download for your DS. 3DS. 3DS. Yes. Okay. You go there, nothing's there. <laughs> you have to uh, put your system into hold mode and wait for it to auto download four random videos that they, or, well, not random. They're not random. They're only four each week. Four videos each week. They're just completely random videos, pretty much. Like, internet things, like College Humor was on there, and then a movie trailer for what was coming out that week. It's, it, just... it's so it's so pointless. There's no sort search. There's nothing that makes it something you would actually care for. It's just, here's some videos we thought you'd like for no particular reason. Pause for one second. College Humor? Yeah. I don't know. Could you, you? We were all at the 3DS launch. Could you see even half of the people or a third of the? I mean, there were some pretty young people in that line. It was just like college well, humor. Well, it was college humor, dinosaurs. So it was like almost kitty like, but then it was college humor. So they ate each other. So it's <laughs> <laughs> always so like, what is how it? every college humor sketch ends. Like that one where they were making fun of Obama, and then Obama <laughs> ate Obama. <laughs> They're like Guitar Hero one, where, where they ate gu- at Van Halen. Where the Guitar Hero <laughs> ate them. <laughs> hey guys, I'm the Guitar Hero. Oh! <laughs> As you can tell, we're huge college humor fans. <laughs> we I mean, know all about their work. We know every last video, line per line. Mostly because they all end with somebody <laughs> eating somebody. I have a confession to make. Yeah. Um... <laughs> That, that is yet another elaborate plot. Those weren't real college humor videos. <laughs> what? I really thought you would have figured it out when it's me in, like, the same six mustaches over and no over. No way! You totally got me! I am so in debt to unscrupulous people <laughs> right now. For mustaches, really? I saw those, I, Agro. Those were impressive. Don't even send money. Send passports. I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> My mustaches don't cut it with international customs. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because they're made of Gorgonzolas. <laughs> so anyway, the ambassador program. <laughs> so yeah, moving on finally to the ambassador program. Wait, okay, one last thing before mm-hmm. we move on. Very, very last thing. Um, you already have a 3DS, right? Well. Um, so obviously you can't participate in this poll. We'll get, we'll do another real quick later. Um, now that it's 170, Agro, and the Vita is coming out this year. Mm-hmm. You think you're getting a 3DS? Well, I got to borrow Bob's uh, unit to play like five minutes of Ocarina of Time. No. And uh, I I let the experience wash over me and through me as a pure healing light. <laughs> but it, 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 it's kind of like, you know, you, you walk into a church and the atmosphere is pleasant and you feel the love of God. But then... You look around you, and the walls are all made of horrible black putridness. <laughs> and this, this this amazingly good experience comes at the expense of this thing that you're a part of. The 3DS is it it the remake of Ocarina of Time is not worth buying a 3DS. I I finally come to terms with that. It was close for a while. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that that must have been a fucking hard decision yeah. to make. Yeah, it was. Updated textures. Yeah. <laughs> See. Like it like if they released Ocarina like every six months, like a fighting game, like one new character, or like we suddenly rebalance this, I buy every single one of them. You hear that, Nintendo? <laughs> I have a business model to save your ass. <laughs> I don't know why we. I'm surprised they haven't already announced like a new Zelda for the 
D- 3DS. Like, Honestly, Zeldas are kind of high scale games. This Mario is kind of cheap production wise. Uh, yeah, that's I mean, how it's they always been. To crank out two Mario's for the Wii. Yeah, so that that says something. Especially when the second one kind of pared back on interface to make it an even cheaper one, like with the world map sort of deal. Yeah, yeah, so it was no better for it, to but... program. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But you gotta admit that's somewhere yeah. they can cut back. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, I see. I actually have a pretty similar situation to Agro here. Um, before Mega Man Legends three was cast into the abyss, hmm. yeah, that's, um, that's I hard. was sitting here <laughs> looking at the three. Down, tried to crawl out, got kicked in the face, and the door shut and locked. A hundred thousand people tried to help it out, and <laughs> Capcom just drove a Capcom truck into us. Hose <laughs> <on>. <laughs> just cast all of us into the abyss. Um, but before it was cast into the abyss, I was sitting there. I, wow, that's. That's harshly accurate. I mean, those <laughs> hands are gone. They're not coming back. <laughs> yeah, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> we're all fucking pissed to Capcom. You know, there are actually, there's a, a third faction coming up. Like, there's the faction of, oh, I didn't care about Mega Man Legends 3. And then there's the, the oh my god, Mega Man Legends 3 needed to come out. There's a third one. There's a new faction that's sort of arising called, I never gave a shit. Why do you people care? Really? Because that many people care? For some reason, the people who do not care have decided to work in equal force to counteract that. That's horrible. That's it, that's beautiful in the bigger picture. <laughs> it's, it, it's another example of how the internet is changing our society. <laughs> or maybe just letting us discover parts of our society we didn't know existed. Yeah. Uh, definitely the case because let's be honest how would have that have ha- happened before the internet do you have a charity to take money <laughs> an aggressive from phone other calling char- campaign and <laughs> hey, why don't you guys stop fucking caring about this shit hangs up <laughs> a newsletter and that <laughs> <laughs> pay for television advertising I don't care about those puppies Um, God yes Why isn't Anon doing that (laughs) People should Damn in any case um, But yeah before I was cast into the abyss I had to look at the 3DS warily Like oh man I may get duped into buying that But I always held on to this thing It was the 3DS probably won't do well As each and every month passing Reassured me Mm -hmm. Capcom is Capcom. They will probably port that to the Vita. Hmm. They're Capcom. They port the everything to everything. They could make a new Sengoku Basra for both the Wii and the PS3. And with that in mind, I'm positive they could have ported Mega Man Legends 3 to the Vita. Because if they made that they game... they didn't port it up the PSP Sengoku Basra to the Wii just because it would be funny. <laughs> there are PSP Sengoku... I forgot about that. No? Wow. Yeah, they should have. Hmm. No, wait, um, no. <laughs> yeah, the other one. They shouldn't have done that. So good job, Capcom. Um, but yeah, so when that was canceled, it was like a final nail in the coffin. And I went, ah, I'm not getting a 3DS. That saves me $250. It yeah, really hurt now, because I, I had already had a 3DS. And that was partially because I was like, yes, the dream of Legend see, 3. stop trusting people. Apparently. Capcom are not people. Okay, that's true. <laughs> Inafune's gone. The rest of them don't even have names. They have like <laughs> letters followed by squelches and <laughs> screeches. <laughs> Number 37 to. Ah! And then a demon just flies hey. out of a fucking filing cabinet. <laughs> Ono's real. Everyone else isn't. This is true. Yoshidori Ono's pretty awesome with the uh, Vita, you know. Tekken cross Street Fighter. Street Fighter cross Tekken being on the Vita with Cole. <laughs> Shit, yeah, I forgot about that. that yeah. was, uh, which reminds me, apparently there's going to be a Capcom launch title they haven't announced. For, for the, the Vita? Vita? That's yeah. crazy. It's Legends 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Capcom's god. like, they're like, what the hell, Capcom? And Capcom's like, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, did, did you think we were a company that gave a fuck? We're goddamn Capcom. <laughs> Do you know how much money Sony fucking handed us over goddamn night? We didn't even care if you buy it. Shit, it's $2. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you were bad people. I don't like you. All these proceeds go to this one kid. <laughs> <laughs> we picked it random out of a hat. He's not even sick or crippled or anything. Oh, he is? Oh, no, kitten. Oh, bonus. <laughs> kitten. They just have a kitten in a box, and the more people that buy it, the more money they pour on it. Soon the money will crush the kitten. <laughs> the kitten doesn't want money. <laughs> the kid no, the kitten freedom. will be physically crushed by the money. <laughs> this sounds like a good Vita game. This sounds like a great Vita game. Kitten freedom. Kitten. <laughs> what? 
But yeah. You hear so... me, Capcom? Kitten freedom. I have a business plan to save your company. <laughs> Agro. Business is business. Hmm. <laughs> I think I might become a pundit. <laughs> Look out, Michael Pactor. You're not the only dumbass who says a name bullshit about the video game industry. <laughs> I think I'm posting this on M4G with that as the tagline for this podcast. <laughs> um, but in any case, I, I think we're done talking about the lack of value and how neither you nor I are getting a 3DS, it appears. This Good job, Bob. <laughs> yeah, the whole point of a 3DS is going to be playing, playing multiplayer games like the Mario Karts again. Well, you know, oh, well, with, the, with the Vitas. We, we got... won't have anything but Mod Nation. I'm not going to settle for that. See, that's the <laughs> thing, because uh, we're excited about Mod Nation. Oh, already. yes, we are. Unless they make it, you know, work better. <laughs> it was a good game. You're just an asshole. I'm sorry. It just doesn't translate to your language. I don't, I don't know how you don't find it fun. Maybe you're evil. Are you evil? Are you part Jewish? You know, oh, this man, kind of that makes was an sense. Anti-Semitic. Bob being evil. Yeah? Like, maybe we didn't notice because we're amoral. Uh-huh. But Bob may be evil. Whoa. Huh. Shit. That, that'd be weird. Not really. <laughs> that's that's the concerning part. It wouldn't be weird if you were evil. <laughs> this isn't really something. We need, like, an outside opinion. Poll? We should put a poll on the site to see if Bob's evil. <laughs> yes. Because nobody liked him in that other poll. Uh, this, this may be why. That's not true. He tied with, uh... Actually, no, you didn't talk with her. Did, did, did you get know. a vote in that poll? I think he I got, got a vote by the end vote. of it. Was it you? It wasn't me. I okay. didn't vote. I voted for Eric. Which reminds <laughs> me, I finally figured out, and this is so lame that I'm going to admit this during the podcast, I figured out why you could, had to log in to vote. Oh, yeah? Same IP. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, there you go. Duh. <laughs> 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 right? Wow. Now it just lets people vote <laughs> a anyway. number of times per IP. <laughs> in any case, the 3DS Ambassador Program. Fuck it. Yeah, okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm not aware of it, and I think Ambassador sounds pretty cool. Well, see, the Wii U Chancellor program is coming out uh, 2013, actually. So that sounds kind of gay. Uh, the 3DS Ambassador program is just as gay. Like The only thing I know about Chancellors is they show up in Star Trek, and they always have the weird outfits. Like, assless capes. <laughs> Q? <laughs> <laughs> He's a capeless ass. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, that's a bit different there. <laughs> Slightly different. Okay, so uh, the 3DS Ambassador Program, what it is, is you're going to get, uh, let's say you have a 3DS. You paid 250 <laughs> No, we're doing that. Uh. In any case, five months ago you bought, or four months ago, you bought a 3DS for $250. We're going to make that up to you. You know how we're going to do it? We're going to give you a bunch of old games that we own, so we aren't paying anything to reimburse you for that $80. Majora's so, Mask? No. Damn. N64, too high. Reach lower. You're going to get Mario. <laughs> some DS stuff games? For the NES. No. Uh, a bunch of NES. Duck Hunt? No. <laughs> Jackal? N- n- no. I wish. Uh, God, if they would release Bugs even, the cat? like, any games they did Ghost not Goblins? wholly own, like, any uh, Capcom game. Yeah, anything. any classic NES games that weren't just straight up Nintendo. Like, like I would be happy with Ninja Guy in 1 to 3. And I, I know that's bad, but yeah. I want those. Are you sure we're not and, getting Jackal? Yeah, we're not getting Jackal. Which reminds me, we never did a Yield Quick Play that got to the site of Jackal. So once we get the new and improved Yields up, that's on the top of my list for that. In any case, um, but yeah, no. Uh, 20 old games, 10 are for the NES, they only listed half of those. And then 10 are for the Game Boy Advance, and they only listed half of those. The trick here is they're going to eventually sell the NES games through an e-store. Um, the Game Boy Advance games, they're never going to sell. You're going to be the only one with a... Supposedly, yeah, that's what they've said. Honestly, it makes sense. I'll go into that in a bit. But yeah, they said they're not going to sell that at all. And more importantly, they don't know when they're going to get that to you. Oh. They only let us know what half of the games you're going to get as compensation for your losing $80 for owning something for four months is. And it didn't cost them a cent to do. But... There you go. You get 10 games for the Game Boy Advance that nobody else gets. Um, the, here's the thing that shocks me. I don't own a 3DS. Uh, if you watch the Rantas go, that was, you know, I write that. Agro's the co-writer, and then Bob's the editor. And Bob's the only one of the three of us that has a 3DS. I'm actually angrier than a good bit of the 3DS people are. Because for some reason, it seems like a value proposition to people to spend $80... 
<clears throat> no, I'm going to yelling mode. Eighty dollars to get twenty old games. You know what you fucking do, assholes? You go to eBay and you spend seventy and you get thirty-four. <laughs> God. It's like these people don't know what the fucking internet's about. Or you know what? Be an asshole and go to romnation.net. Is that... I don't even know. I don't know. But it probably is. And get these games for free. Yeah, that's right. I condone emulation over you enjoying the Ambassador <laughs> Program. Because I'm that pissed. I just realized why this pattern seems familiar to me. Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nintendo is... It's a deadbeat dad. What? It, like, you mean? had a lot of fun when you were really young. Uh-huh. Remember. But then... It sort of went away. It sent you presents every now and then, and they were usually awesome. But as you got older, and he wasn't around, he didn't really know what you liked anymore. So he keeps sending you presents instead of his love, and it's all this random shit that's kind of like stuff you cared about back in the day, but it's it's just not relevant stuff anymore. And it hurts more because it's slightly off, because it represents him not knowing or caring about you anymore. Good job. Yeah, that's... That's an interesting way to look at it. Uh, wow. It's... We just wanted you to be there, Nintendo. <laughs> Why couldn't you follow the evolution of games at all? I be a family again. <laughs> I know when, when you and Sony broke up because you fucked her over. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the best part of this. And I really need to go into that and another the rant is go. Sony's only here because Nintendo pissed them off. <laughs> Like, they were fine not being here, Nintendo. They're here you by the most honorable <laughs> right of all. Vengeance. <laughs> Single mom, fueled by vengeance. <laughs> Capcom, are you listening? I'm just giving these away today. <laughs> Pissed off mama. Coming up. <laughs> Who does the mama series? Is that... Who's I, that? It, THQ? No, no. It's, it it, it might actually be real. No, it's not Nintendo directly, no, no, is no. it? It's, it's Ubisoft or THQ. It's it not, is not. It is a it's Japanese not a company t- fully. Like the publisher? No yeah. way. The, no way. Maybe not the publisher, but that yeah, is Yeah, I'm trying developed. to figure out who the publisher is, because they publish all of them. Uh, I think I it's THQ. I don't think so, no. I, okay. I remember a THQ logo on those things. Yeah? Yeah. Because I, I see THQ and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a good game. Stay away. Because, <laughs> I mean, Which reminds me of Darksiders th- and that one game. Oh, Red Faction. Yeah. Everything is trash. Well, like, yeah. high quality trash. <laughs> yeah, did you uh, did you hear about... I wish I hit this in the news roundup. Uh, did you guys hear that uh, Red Faction, they're done trying with that. Really? Yeah, after the latest game came out and it didn't sell well, probably because the feature set of the engine completely conflicted with the new gameplay design, um, they decided they're fucking done. Uh, hmm. They uh, they said, quote, Red Faction is not continuing forward in a noteworthy manner. Wow. <laughs> During a... Like, they're that, developing... That's a terrifying sentence. Because it is. that means, like, you know, it's, it, it's dead, so it's time to part the bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they uh we might see some more battlegrounds or whatever that. No, yeah. see that's exactly what they're talking about not that action. Because for the newest one, they started a sci-fi mini series. They started battlegrounds and something else all around that one game. And when that one game didn't do well, they're they're done. They're yeah. they're calling Red Faction dead. They're like they they can make another another but it's not getting a budget. <laughs> I mean, we went in, or we should have gone into this earlier, and it's weird to go into it now, but yeah. wow, that's just, that's sad. It is sad. this is, Red Faction has gone on a while, and it's had its ups and downs. Like, 2 was the worst game, worst first person shooter you could make at the time. Right. And now, now we're at the 4, and it is probably the worst open world game you could make at the time, because it's not because an open, it's world, not world, open game. world game. <laughs> and it's designed to be one. It's like they always get it so right on the first iteration of their engine, but because of the business propositions and the way the whole economics of the entire thing, they just need to make a worse game with the same engine to come out even or something. Like, but in any case, what, yeah, rolling back to the 3D ambassador, 3DS ambassador, 3D, 3D ambassador. ambassador. <laughs> I am ambassador. <laughs> Do you like other dimensions? Yes. Like, welcome to the fifth dimension. Oh, God! So, oh. No, I think all you get out before you disintegrate into nothingness is, Oh, ye God! <laughs> but in any case... What's um, a tesseract? <laughs> oh, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> he just holds it up. 
fucking Ark of the Covenant Why in you... five dimensions. <laughs> wow. Apparently, when you get to that dimension, Tesseract is just shoved in your brain and you need to ask about it. By perceiving it. <laughs> well, maybe you heard someone like far off say, blah, 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 Tesseracts. You're like, what's with Tesseract? Um, at this point, it becomes pretty uh, visible to our fan base how we have an About Us section that insane. <laughs> um, but in any case, so that's, you know, I'm pissed, one, over the 3DS Ambassador program. That's kind of stupid. That's kind of bullshit. That's kind of, it didn't cost them a cent to do that. And more importantly, I, I'm pissed that it's a bunch of old games. But on top of that, I'm fucking angry that people are ecstatic about this. It's they, called fucking eBay. You know how many times I go on eBay and I, for under $100, can get 40 NES games? Maybe yeah. more? I mean, this is Jesus. insane. I know Fuck. it's on a portable, but those are just... Ladies! You don't even get to choose what games you're getting. Ladies, gentlemen, it's $80. That's a lot of money. You can do better with 80 fucking dollars than that by a substantial degree. So, I mean, the second thing where I'm just angry at people over that. From what I'm hearing, people are going out of their way to buy a 3DS now while they can get the 3DS I ambassador compl- program. I believe that these people are psychotic. That's literally insane. The, now, the in- oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> when talking about Nintendo fanboys. Yes. You have to remember that they're not they're not all stupid. They're not insane. Nintendo is a religion. Uh-huh. It has a deity. It has a mythos. Yeah. Whether or not it makes sense is uh-huh. completely irrelevant. Uh-huh. Nintendo fan base operates on faith. Yeah. It's kind of like a conspiracy theory, except everyone likes the people they're talking about. Oh my god. Oh my god, I get it now. I get it now. Okay, so figure this out. Check this out. Check out this parallel. Mm-hmm. It's all Metroid Fusion. Nintendo. They want that. <laughs> Nintendo. Well, that's one of the ten games, and it is I a know. good game. I know. It's a good game, but it should have been Zero Mission. But in any case, yeah, it should have been. Should have been Zero Mission. Should have been Zero Mission. Zero Mission, I mean, Zero Mission, Mission is the best the fucking one. Metroid game ever. <laughs> Fusion was just like, why is this here? Why is it Zero Mission? <laughs> what the okay. fuck are you? <laughs> we got slightly off. <laughs> Nintendo has taken the downward spiral. That Sega went through in six years and stretched it. <laughs> <laughs> but the only difference is good games are coming out in the middle of it. Hmm. It's kind of like those big coin charity things at the mall. Like the big cones and you drop two <laughs> coins in and one just fucking slides down the thing. But the other one just stays on the outer rim forever. No. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that is pretty accurate because both companies fell... Because they didn't know how to properly evolve gameplay and their way of doing business with the scaling of uh, technology. <laughs> like, the Saturn was an abysmal platform, like, worse than the PS3 to develop for. It was a fucking nightmare. Um, the Sega, the Sonic games developed for the Genesis late into its cycle. Um, I'm talking about Sonic Crackers, for those who don't know. And the Sega Saturn games and all that other stuff, the 32X stuff. The 32S, the ZD, and the Saturn are all terrible nightmares. And those are just the things that hit the not- market. Yeah. Um, the 3DS in itself, in my opinion, is a terrible nightmare. Because it isn't a well-realized product with legitimate appeal. It just has a very small amount of good games coming out for it. Mm. Uh, Nintendo doesn't have an online store <laughs> like they should. So, so yeah, they're there. I threw my analogy out. They're like Sega, and this is the beginning of it, and it's going to stretch out as long as they can keep running. Um, Bob, the 3DS ambassador program. What is your opinion, Ambassador Robert? <laughs> oh, <laughs> because you're I'm gonna have to deal with that. You're an really, I'm an ambassador. You now. have a 3DS. You're an ambassador. <sighs> I. It's just why. Yeah. I, I feel like they should do so much more. They should have done something. This feels like just, oh, well, here's some stuff we don't even care about anymore. We aren't even going to release this stuff. You can have it. Yeah. See, Bob, Nintendo has a plan for your life. <laughs> and you True. shouldn't question it. Because if you question it, 
you'll go to Nintendo hell. <laughs> Bob, it, Sega questioned Nintendo once. <laughs> <laughs> they said they did it Nintendo, or they Nintendo. They did what Nintendo <laughs> didn't. It was kind of weird. And because of that, they went to Nintendo hell. Bob, <laughs> it's all about attitudinal beliefs. And you just what need does to that put, mean? You that need means to put, you will go to a place where blast processing can't save you. <laughs> you need to put on the lifeline how you feel about the 3DS. Is it fear or love? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, fear and love are the most powerful, powerful of human emotions. emotions. <laughs> Okay, oh, well, we wow. have just the right fan base for this to work. So, okay, yeah, so, um, uh, the 3DS, a bad idea that keeps getting worse. Anything I, else? I mean, <laughs> you felt they should do more. They should do more. They should announce what they're going to give out. <laughs> yeah. going to, they should announce how they're going to give it out, when we're getting it, something. I mean, now we just know, oh, it's The it's NES happening. is coming in September, so it's coming a month after the that's price cut. That's a month after the price cut, and yeah. that's what's, and we don't know when the G- GBA games are. Yeah, no. that could well be in next year. <laughs> considering they said, how well, freaking... they're going to try to get it to us by the end of the year. Even that's odds horrible. are not getting it at all. <laughs> I mean, it was already bad enough. We had two months without an online store yeah. of any kind. Yeah, every part of this just feels rushed and like, oh well, we're just going to do this. Like Nintendo does not have their shit together on any point. And if this wasn't ready, this shouldn't have been released. That's yeah. all there is to it. Yeah. Um, Agro, your opinion is on the 3DS Ambassador program? Just train wreck? Gay and weak? I mean, I uh, don't... Gay I don't, and weak. Don't, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the, the ambas- people are still buying it. Buying it for the Ambassador program yeah. is insane. I've to, seen these people. I, that makes no sense to me. They act a little psychotic? Some of them were just, like, way too young to even be having this much money to deal with. Well, yeah. You, uh, you know, that place where you saw these people is kind of, you know... It's, uh, yeah. Emerald has a house out there. Emerald Lagasse. So, you know, fucking... Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you know who, what kind of market that is. Yeah, that's how insane that is. I mean, I can kind of... I can be a little bit understanding. People already have a 3DS and being okay with this. Because they're they're in that delusional because. state of at least it's something, at least they gave me something. <laughs> it's like giving childbirth, and they just go, "Here's some Tylenol." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Thanks." <gasps> oh, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the 3DS Ambassador Program pricing, third party relations, the game speed, the speed at which games are coming out, the launch lineup, all this stuff. All of this points to, in my opinion, Nintendo is not at all able to scale up this much. And that was pretty self-evident from the DS from and from the Wii. the Wii. They were both generation behind. And I'm starting to worry that Nintendo, as a game-making company, cannot operate on a higher scale like, you know, most of Japanese development studios can't. They just can't make at a decent speed, at a decent quality, these higher technological products. I mean, that's the thing that makes the Wii U just like, what are you going to do? Is They're going to outsource not... online. I mean, yeah, that's already it, a bad sign. Yeah, that is a terrible yeah. sign. When was the last time America gang busted an industry? I don't know, because if you recall in the 80s, we thought Japan would fucking own us by the late 90s. So many <laughs> movies were made where that was the outcome. Mm-hmm. They're like, Japanese businessmen and the way of doing business to fucking Japanese corporations are going to own all of America. But then the whole uh, tech industry became so important that, you know, OS development, decent OS development only has happens in Western companies, mostly in the U.S. Uh, networking code is mostly only not shit <laughs> in the Americas. Uh, it's just it, just those two things have become so important. Yeah. Just those two. So, it's gonna fucking fuck Nintendo. And that's so sickening. Yeah. I honestly think a best case scenario is that if they go software only. Not Sega per se. Like, they don't need to sell out to a casino pachinko company. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sammy. Yeah, that, that was weird. <laughs> Sega's been squirreling cash for 20 years and buys Nintendo. <laughs> That would be <laughs> terrifying. Uh, well, f- 
from what I understand, Nintendo has a shitload of cash on hand. Not compared to Apple, who now has more cash hmm. than the U.S. government. <laughs> but they have a shitload of cash on hand. So they're pretty much going to be running on that mm -hmm. until... Until something works Until out. Until Capcom buys them and God decides to end the world because no, he doesn't want to see what happens there. <laughs> that is sick. Capcom's like, so I see you like to milk your franchises. You think that's franchise milking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mario Party, blue and red. We're going to come out with it. four different titles this year. One for each quarter. How are they different? They are! <laughs> Next year, Ultra. Mario Party 12, Star Force, Zero X. <laughs> oh. Is Zero in it? No! That would be hard! <laughs> oh, I hate Capcom so much. <laughs> Mega Man Party Network. <laughs> What's that? It's Mario Party again! <laughs> Is Mega Man in it? No! <laughs> Wait till you hear about the DLC. What about it? It's not really DLC. It's a whole second game, but it's not a second game. It's just DLC. <laughs> no, see, the Mario Party's gonna have all the new mini games come out in DLC. One month later, surprise, bitches! New game in six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We didn't cover Ultimate Marvel. No, we didn't. We, we probably should have mentioned that. Yeah, and how they blamed that on the tsunami, and how well, honestly. Like, I, I didn't I hear that part. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh, fuck. To Capcom. be perfectly honest, uh, I could see that screwing up the initial early releases, but that couldn't possibly screw them for releasing them later. Well, the Japanese <laughs> PlayStation Store was down until, what, June? That was really? a wholly separate Mid incident. No, that's, that's their venue for distributing DLC in Japan. No, no, that's a wholly separate incident from the tsunami. Oh. What? No, that's what knocked down... No, oh, no, yeah, the, that's the, right. The freaking, it did go hat. down because of that. It went down for like sure. a week. Yeah, Maybe. and then it went into the whole... Yeah, I wonder how the hell... I don't know, we didn't look into what happened to Aiden. Who knows, maybe Aiden I, did get fucked. Maybe, but I they don't know. Into that. Mm. Aiden is the uh, the actual company. It's the that. developer they will <laughs> put on that. Yeah. Yeah, they made Bloody Roar too. But hmm. it, considering they now have all that content, they're able to show us all that content, and it is, what, still a couple months before uh, that new one comes out? They could have been releasing them. Yeah, they could start releasing them now and not do this new game. But they're doing this new game instead. I don't understand. You're saying so many words, but <laughs> I just don't hear any. Um, I can't wait till that new game gets DLC. <laughs> well, we'll get one pack of DLC, and then we'll get another new game in six months. No, no, we'll get one pack of DLC, and then it'll be a while, and then we'll get that super premium pack. DLC that comes with it's way basically more. collector's edition of the original game without any of the new shit from the DLC game. But then, but then if we want move support, we'll have to buy a third game, <laughs> and it's Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Three Gold Edition, and we'll hate them. <laughs> yeah, I was so pissed when I had to buy Gold Edition for move support, and that didn't work in that one scene. Yeah, that was fun, right? Thanks for reminding me because that is where I'm stuck on the highest difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, move. Just doesn't move to the turret at all. <laughs> I have to use the controller. So I'm like, this is where I'm stuck! <laughs> Why'd I buy this? <laughs> but, uh, okay. Thanks for checking out this roundtable on the 3DS and apparently Capcom. <laughs> 3DS and anyone them. else who pissed us off. <laughs> um... And outlook for the 3DS pretty low. Bleak. Outlook for Nintendo, very bleak. Their stock price is the lowest in five years maybe longer it's just they, they it went did. down really far because of e3 and then went down even farther because of sales they were so uh, i mean just nintendo stock price is doing fucking horrible people may say this is a cyclical thing but they have new hardware on the market so n not really um outsourcing your entire online to another company and all these things with the 3ds and it's a portable i mean they, they couldn't do a portable they couldn't do this online at all right there. For a portable. For a fucking portable. That's so low-end already. That's Phones just... can do online right. Better or yeah. better online stores than this. Yeah. I. It's stunning, guys. You are just... Nintendo is just fucking up on so many scales technologically. It, it, it's sad. It yeah. is. It's just like... You don't want to watch him fall down the stairs. You don't. Like, look, Dan, Nintendo is sorry that it forgot your birthday this year, but it has a whole nother life now. 
and it's <laughs> trying to balance. Okay, it's trying look, to move on, look, but still remember because it loves you. It does. <laughs> look, if Nintendo loved me, it would stop beating me. <laughs> it would stop. Just stop running over all of my cats. <laughs> I don't have any cats. I've only got one left. Remember, the like, neighbor's cats are being run over now. Just like I like those cats. Drunk runaway dad driving around the block. No cats! <laughs> Where are these? Are these 3D glasses? Put them on! Uh, okay, runs over cat. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm really here in the sadness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm actually touching my tears. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, just Nintendo... A pile of fuck-ups at this point. I mean, when you look at the 3DS lineup and you compare it to the Vitas, and the fact they were gonna be at the same price point, it's disturbing because i mean the the price point for the 3ds games is high it's too high for that okay good you agree 40 dollars is too much to pay it 30 dollars is i think these aren't enough of a step up from the psp and the ds games to yeah warrant that to like 40 dollars for pilot wings yeah, that that's sick. That which, game which is a good job, game at most. Good job, Nintendo. I was already fucking angry over Pilot Wings. The rest of this has just served to make me a cold-hearted bastard when it comes to you. Ugh. Ugh. At least they did punch out some justice a couple of years ago. <laughs> like those are my two Nintendo franchises where I'm like, yes, you, you're mine. <laughs> and then they're like, hey, remember Punch Out? Yeah, that was great. Well, this is what we're going to do to Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings! Pilot Wings, you get on all fours. You watch! (laughs) Drives by. No, Pilot Wings! (laughs) Pilot Wings, get out of the driveway! (laughs) No! I named my cat Pilot Wings. You should totally name a cat Pilot Wings. I should, actually. That would just be like, tragic. This this Pilot Wings (laughs) makes me happy. Maybe I'll buy the next game. But, yeah, okay, so there you go. It's... That was guys. a lot of us going off on it. And it was just Nintendo as a whole. It's so hard to, to focus on one facet because they're all tied into each other yeah. so deeply. It's this big tapestry of... Oh. Yeah, it's... Maybe maybe there's some weird angle we're missing to this. Like, the Wii did incredibly well, and that was a bad idea, holy. Here's the thing. The Wii <laughs> but didn't it, give you headaches within yeah, a couple like hours. Like, the Wii was yeah. why I thought the 3DS was going to do well. I'm like, oh, well... Logic doesn't apply to Nintendo. They can just do whatever they want and it'll sell like a miracle. Yeah, yeah and this, they don't have that, this thing they can sell people on. This is totally like, you're doing it. So like, it, here's the thing. With the Wii, you can sell that too, and I'm about to get very offensive for people who aren't gamers. So, you know, if you found this podcast somehow at this point, stop listening. Wii, you can sell to idiots who don't really play video games and would never describe themselves as gamers. You know, so you got this neat thing with the with the Wiimote and the derp a derp. So, yeah, you know, the, the old yeah. people buy it. The, yeah. the, the old people yeah. buy it for the little, little tiny kids because they so, aren't ready for controllers so, yet. Controllers oh, are too complex. Too Com- complex, especially because I can't figure it out. So obviously, my three year old can't, even though they have. Even though they can open your pills, and they have been for weeks, and they tried that shit, <laughs> and it was fucking awesome. But in any case, <laughs> that doesn't matter. You can sell the Wii to idiots and senile people and idiots and it, man, I'm just saying the same word over and over and over. In any case. The, the 3DS is a handheld. It's a dedicated handheld device. You are selling that to relatively a hardcore crowd. I mean, yeah, there are people who buy handhelds because they're cheaper than consoles, but either way, I think pretty much most people, most, not all, who would buy most handhelds, most, not DS specifically, are gamers by definition. Right, or something for... Handheld is great for kids for on yeah, trips. Yeah, like the right. big market that, is that, gamers and kids. Right. Yeah. I own two Game Gears. And then do we have a feature? <laughs> that just comes out of nowhere. You really shouldn't just admit that. <laughs> yeah. I have two Game Gears. One's broken. Eh, but I'll fix it. When you have a feature doesn't even work for six-year-olds? When you have or a system below- that isn't designed to be appealing to gamers, yeah. your gimmick has limited reach because it's not a console designed for the mainstream. Not only that, but the mainstream was pissed at 3D to begin with. Yeah. Not only that... But the system doesn't look that much better, so the people who are stupid enough to fucking buy it don't even know it's a new one. <laughs> God, and the, then I think that the big problem here is when the Wii U comes out and they're in the same freaking boat of this doesn't apply to anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like, now we're all pissed at Nintendo. 
and not only and that, but I that, that gimmick like it doesn't. It's not something you can easily sell. It's just you have a screen in your hand. I keep bringing this up in every video we're doing where the Wii U is relevant. The Wii really doesn't know what its fucking demographic is. They took a normal controller and they put a giant fucking screen in the middle. What that's gonna do is have some novel approaches and some gimmicky shit, like they showed off in that reel that's probably never gonna materialize into actual applications and software. But it's gonna be really uncomfortable as a controller because it's that fucking huge. Like the original Xbox controller, all over again, only even fucking wider. This is not a good implement to game for like eight hours straight every day like phil robinson who is horribly addicted to trophies i mean oh wait it's robbins phil robbins who is horribly mm. addicted to trophies it's just are you going for the mainstream I mean, you going for the hardcore what are you doing because this doesn't look nearly as appealing as it could for either crowd there I mean, so there you go this... nintendo is just churning out product after product that doesn't have a real legitimate well-crafted market like the PS3. This shit's high-end. Look at it. Fuck. Buy it. The PSV. Holy shit. The shit's high-end. <laughs> Fucking look at it. Buy it. I the mean, 3DS. It's 3D now. It looks moderately better. It'll have games, I guess. The <laughs> well, Wii U. Maybe not. <laughs> It'll have the same games as the other platforms, and it's got this screen, which will uh, do stuff. I mean, it's... This is honestly the first Nintendo console in a while. I'm just like, I don't... I don't want that at all. <laughs> I don't want this anymore. Can they take it back? <laughs> I... I legitimately, like, I went with them with the Wii and the 3DS. Like, yeah, I want to get in on that and try that. Because maybe there's going to be something there that I'm missing. Something magic. But I know that there's nothing magical about the, the Wii U. <laughs> I know there's nothing... nothing magical about the 3DS. I took it apart. It doesn't work <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's, I think that's really it, is that it, Nintendo's lost the magic. Like, it, it's just, it, it's too old and too drunk, and it can't pull shit out of its hat anymore, and <laughs> it's we're sitting in the all. front row just a little too old for this, going, uh, no, I, I want to go play a video game. It's, yeah, I don't, just really I, sad. see, you're like, saying the Wii U's the first one for you, the 3DS is the first one for me, because well, I, I, thought I it really was gonna... wanted to believe with the 3DS, that's the thing. Well, it just, if, if it not for the 3DS, if not for the 3DS, then you would be saying the same for the Wii U, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. But the, the, the 3DS is the one that just sat there. Like, no, I'm not near as good as I thought I was going to be. I'm just going to start vomiting in the corner now. <laughs> you gotta That's hold... like the worst puppy ever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't fucking play, kid. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Clean that up. Why won't Dad run roll? that over? <laughs> His hair starts coming off. Why is my life this horrible circus nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> vomiting puppies, drunk dads, and dead cats. <laughs> Who let this magician in my house? <laughs> Who charged his admission to this hell? And I think we're done here. Uh, thanks for checking out this uh, podcast. From <laughs> it's <laughs> podcast-ish train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> we kept going. From gigabits.com. I hope you had half as much fun as we did, because we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have half as much fun as we did well, we, we can't have half as much fun as we did dan we were here having the fun we had our fun and ate cake too wait we didn't have cake we would have had twice as much fun if we had cake we can go get cake now and do this again yeah fuck this video let's get cake <laughs>